Good morning, good morning, everyone. You know what today is, right? It's August 1st, 2024, and it is 8.48 a.m. <clears throat> that I'm making this video. Um, I wanted to direct your attention to a, a post that I just put up. I believe I posted it on Instagram, and it is a caption or a clip of the uh, New Zealand pandemic response plan from one of their pages of their plan. And I sent it out, copied a couple of people on it. And uh, some of the responses I got back were, that's New Zealand. They're, you know, in other words, New Zealand is an anomaly. There's the rest of the world doesn't is not going to be doing the forced, um, you know what, for the next um, pandemic, which is the bird flu pandemic. And then I pointed them to a video I did. And if you go on my page, my Instagram page, it's a pinned it's a pinned video uh, of their 10 page bird flu summit um, syllabus or outline. And uh, if you go through on my page and watch that, I don't know, it's like a 20 minute video, but look at what I highlighted from that syllabus and you'll see that it looks like the attendees that are going to be at this summit from August 2nd to the 4th uh, excuse me, from October 2nd to the 4th, which is only two months away. It looks like a lot of what's discussed in that syllabus is part of what New Zealand already has in their plan. So what I'm, the questions I'm raising is, will this be, will the United States be following a similar outline that's depicted in this plan if and when this uh, um, pandemic starts, what what does that entail? You and me, what will we be? How will we be reacting to this if all these things are carried out? That's in that syllabus. That's the questions I'm raising. It's just simple questions that I'm putting out there, um, and I'm looking at now because I like to be prepared for unforeseen circumstances because as you very well know I went through the the COVID um, lockdowns away from home you know seven hours plus away from home in a hotel room with my wife and two dogs when that occurred and it was not a good experience because we were getting medical procedures done we were there uh, for seven weeks and we had to operate behind enemy lines, if you will, away from our preps, away from home, away from safety, more or less. And so what, why I'm bringing this up is because I went through it the first time and I don't plan on being away from my home the second time when it happens again. And when it happens again, is it going to be worse than what it was during um, March of 20? 20. <clears throat> so that's why I am pointing people to that syllabus to go read it for themselves. Uh, BirdFlusummit.com. You could print it out and start asking questions and start preparing for unforeseen circumstances. You carry a spare tire, don't you? You carry insurance, don't you? House insurance, hurricane insurance, flood insurance, life insurance. But yet, People just want to mock you for sending out what's already written and what the government is planning on implementing. So it's kind of like a sheep being led to the slaughter. Don't be a sheep being led to the slaughter. Be a sheep being led by Messiah and let him open your eyes to possibly what's coming around the corner. That's what I'm uh, that's what I want to point today people to. Uh, wake up and be prepared for unforeseen circumstances. Just like you have insurance, a spare tire, etc. You carry a firearm for protection for what? For the unforeseen circumstance of a day time that you may need it. Okay? That's exactly what I'm talking about. So should you have certain medicines on board? Certain antibiotics? Certain things 
remedies in your possession now. So when something does happen, you can treat yourself. Just questions, just things to be prepared. That's what my channel talks about. It's partly preparedness. So that's my video for this morning, August 1st. We're about two months away from the summit. And I'm curious to see what happens between now and then to get this summit some traction. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.